Well, I got started in photography after my wife and I went on a trip to St. Lucia for a wedding anniversary, and we had a photographer. We hired a photographer to take pictures, and, uh, and she had a DSLR camera, and I was interested in it. Uh, and so I think before we left the island, I had ordered my, my first digital camera. Once I got my camera, I basically just started going out and taking pictures, uh, and I had it left on automatic, which is what most people do. Just assume the camera can take a better picture than I can. Once I learned how to shoot in manual was uh, longer exposures and giving it time for the, for the sensor to really gather in information, so like a night shot. Uh, and then a buddy of mine gave me an old infrared converted camera. So infrared photography is using a, a regular camera that's either been permanently modified or has a special filter on the lens to capture only infrared light. The higher you go into the infrared, the less color is available. And so if you see uh, some of my pictures where you have a blue sky and kind of white foliage, uh, that's at the higher end of infrared. But you have to do a little bit of work kind of post-processing because the camera is not capable of displaying infrared information correctly. Sometimes I have an idea in mind what the picture is going to look like, uh, and, and especially if I've picked a certain range of infrared to shoot in, I'll know that it's got a lot of color information or maybe not as much. So I do a little bit of, of manipulating of the image in, uh, in Lightroom and Photoshop. So I just try to limit it to getting the colors right, uh, that they, they look good, that they're balanced properly, and, uh, and it, but I want to leave the image kind of the way it was as much as I can. And when you get to the highest ends of of infrared, there's literally no color. It's just black and white information. And so at that point, you get some really neat detail that is not visible normally. But I also like the colorful images that are lower on the infrared spectrum. One of the things I love to do is just drive the back roads and just look for old farmhouses and farmsteads. One of my influences for uh, photography is Ansel Adams. His work in, in landscape photography was truly amazing. A lot of times I'll end up going back to places I've been before and I'm always surprised that I can get different shots and that uh, I'll see things a little bit differently.